Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Now, Ancient Ballet as well as Black Coffee, they are actually trending today. Why? Because of some scary charges that are laid on Black Coffee. Now, a lot of people have different reasons as to why they believe Black Coffee and some have different reasons as to why they believe Ancient Ballet. Those who believe Ancient Ballet, they are saying that some women have even died in the hands of men and hence gender-based violence needs to be looked at whether the perpetrator is a celebrity or not then those who support black coffee they are saying that it has been a norm in south africa to see a woman as a saint and an angel and not see a man as somebody that can actually be abused hence some men in these prisons or in these jails they have actually paid for something that they didn't do over some petty uh, bitterness now you know that black coffee and ancient bali they're actually going through a divorce it has been crazy and it has been messy now Ancient Bali has accused her ex-husband, Kosinati Innocent Mapumulo, that we better know as a black coffee, of physically abusing her. Um, she applied for a protection order against black coffee at the Renberg Magistrate Court. Now, a lot of uh, activists, gender-based activists, um, you know, gender-based violence activists have been seen at the magistrate actually uh, court, uh, you know, in support of Ancient Bali. Uh, you know, she says that uh, she was actually assault, uh, assaulted in, in two incidents uh, that happened during this weekend. That is on Friday and on Sunday. She claimed that in, that in her court application uh, that was seen by the Daily Sun, she says that on the 5th of March, he drove into our home and asked to have a conversation that I agreed to. He was polite until we were alone. He asked me why I was throwing a dinner without his permission. I then asked why I needed his permission. And he said, because it's his house. I then told him it's our home and I'm puzzled. He then threatened to call the cops to shut it down, she said in the application. And then on the 7th of March, Black Coffee was even more aggressive. He asked me why I had my hand on the door. I asked if he was being serious. He started raising his voice. I asked him to stop and he hit my hand and pushed me. He continued to shout uh, at me at, and shouting this was his house. I asked him to stop fighting till he left the premises. She went on to say that, yes, Black Coffee has done this before. Uh, she said that Nati has hit me before in 2014 and I saw that same look on his face. He's scaring me and he is becoming irrational. She alleged in the application, I do have a scratch on my hand from the incident this is actually so uh, crazy uh, however black coffee is actually denied ever laying a hand on her or actually assaulting her saying that he is somebody that actually grew up in uh you know he grew up in an abusive relationship uh, in a family where there was uh, you know gender based violence and uh, he says that uh he would never and he, he didn't do all that but he would leave everything to the to the laws he said that divorce is never easy but for us it has been especially painful and i've spent the last three years in and out of intense therapy to deal with it privately every day i'm attacked by relentless lies and falsehoods i did not assault her he added and said, it is truly regrettable that she has chosen to mislead the public using the name of gender-based violence and seeking a protection order against me to separate me from my children and home. Black Coffee said he also uh, personally grew up witnessing gender-based violence um, in his household from a young age and he vowed that would never happen under, uh, you know, ab again under any circumstances. I don't guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this i'm gonna be reading some of the reactions by the people on the social media about what they think about this incident i'll see you guys in my next video